I'm with uh, Jane Rossington of Crossroads fame. Thank, thank, <laughs> thank you for, for letting us stay here all this time, Jane. Yeah. We're going to have to go soon. All right. Woke me up so early, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but if I've got to do it, oh, he's off. I think, I think are you going to go, Cat? No, you're going to stay. Right. Um, what was I going to say? I was talk, talk, the last days of Crossroads, the final days, which mm. I thought was a, a mad decision because it, it was the golden age for me. You know, everyone's got their favourite period yeah. in the programme. And That's those last sad. few years with the, the brown nose and... Uh, those were good times, actually, and the, they were very the, the good for me. The hunters were getting me. very saucy and yes. stuff. Yes, oh yes, that was all quite fun. It was good for me because um, I had some very good storylines towards the end, and, I, and Jill suddenly broke out of her mould, rather. Uh, I had this you wild weren't the sweet affair. young thing anymore, were you? Yes, I had this wild affair with uh, Mickey, of the motorbike and, yeah. the, and the leathers and things. And, uh, and then I went off with um, dear Jeremy Nicholson, who was a wonderful pianist. That was great fun. And it was, but it was sad towards the but end. But why, why did they take it off? I never knew why. I never knew why. I still don't know. I mean, we were getting fantastic audiences. Um, we were not a particularly expensive show. Uh, I just don't know. I think it was all to do with they could see the, how television was going to change, and it was all not going to be so studio-bound. But why, I never understood why they didn't just immediately farm it out to an independent, because I reckon mm. there's, there's other ways of doing the show which would have been very, very cost-effective. But then, you see, I'm slightly getting into all that sort of thing now. I'm involved co-producing um, a series, not really for this country, but I think it's going to be shown all over the world. And we're talking to people in America. Do we people in Australia about? as well? Tell us and so what it's about? Well, it's called Au Pairs, and it's, I think it's going to be developed as a serial, as opposed to a series, although there's various arrangements going on about this. Um, but that's going to be sort of light-hearted and fun, and obviously a subject like Au Pairs, you've got lots of pretty girls in it, all different countries, so you've got this European, can I have worldwide. A of course, you can. Well, I can't quite see you as an au pair. But no, <laughs> but maybe, maybe an au pair is made. Au pair is made. Made. Or made, or made in the air. Well, you know, there's great to do's because they're trying to fight this business of being an au pair that why can't boys be au pairs? And there's a case going up before the EEC. Oh, well, I don't want to be an au pair. I should Strasbourg. au pair is mate. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, is that yeah. what you've been doing since? Yeah, well, I've been doing that. I've been doing quite a lot since of theatre. That, hell? that yeah. hell of the, yeah. the motel burning down? Yes. I've been doing that a lot, and I've been doing quite a bit in the theatre, which has been great fun. Well, well we're going to have to go, but I just want to yeah. finish off with... What? The motel's on fire? Ah! Oh, not the motel hold on fire it. again. Hold that. Hello. Hold that. Hello. Just hold that All reaction. Now, 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 now. See you Monday. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thanks very much, Mark, and see you, Mark, on The Word tonight on Channel 4. Uh, yeah. Well, you can't get enough Crossroads, can you? No. Should we watch oh. a bit more? Should we go oh. back in those uh, oh. annals of time? Oh. Let's see a bit more Crossroads. Oh, no, not again. All right, all right. It was on the edge of the top shelf in the fridge and I caught it with my cuff. Well, what were you doing in the fridge anyhow? I was hungry. Don't tell me you've been at the cheese again. You've got calcium deficiency, all that cheese. It's not natural. I told you I was hungry. <laughs> Sandy, Sandy, before he was in his wheelchair, his crossroads. Why did they ever exit? <laughs> uh, so we've been asking you what uh, what the BBC should ask to save money. Act